Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. With Thanksgiving being around the corner, um, so a lot of people are trying to prep the turkeys. Some people, you know, roast their turkeys. Some people fry them. Some people smoke them. So this time, I, I usually fry the turkey, but this time I want to try to smoke the turkeys. Um, so as you can see, I have two turkeys in front of me. They're about 18 pounds each. They're a little bit on the large side, but um, I'm gonna to I'm gonna do two different style of of marination so one of them is going to be a, a brine the other one's going to be a dry so we're going to brine one of the turkeys for about three days and the other one's going to be just dry rub and stick it into the smoker of course uh, i will be injecting both turkeys with some marination and butter and all that stuff but first thing first let's get the wet uh, one ready let's put it into a brine I'm gonna show you guys how I brine the turkeys so stay tuned all right guys so I washed the turkey and now it's in this mysterious bag that you might ask what these what this bag is so this is called the brine bag um, uh, for most of us we don't have room to put the bird into a bucket and put the bucket in the fridge because it needs to stay cold or like keep adding ice to the water you know you want to put it in a bag and put it in the fridge right so i'm going to do an experiment with these bags i want to see if i actually uh vacuum seal this bag somehow so it doesn't take too much space so it doesn't leak and whatnot but before we do that we're gonna have to put some stuff inside here so it kind of take that you know gamey taste away from the turkey you know give it a good uh, uh brine experience I should say so what are we gonna use here what we have is some celery onions some lemon and oranges and a bucket of wa salt water with cloves and cinnamon sticks right so this is gonna be the brine for this turkey so let's put all this stuff in the bag let's put the water in there and let's see if we could actually vacuum seal this thing you know properly you know i'm hoping i can but you know we don't know let's see uh, first thing i'm gonna do i'm gonna throw the celeries in here i'm gonna go at the bottom here I'm gonna tuck it everywhere in this thing and as you can see i have the bag kind of folded out so you know all the liquid would be in the inner walls not the outer walls and we got the sliced oranges so I'm, i used two oranges for this for this thing so i sliced two oranges very thin uh, semi thin a little thick here put some in the cavity then you got the lemons I'm gonna throw the lemon in here And then we have the onions. Alright. So this can go in there. Some onions on the side. There you go. Spread the love, guys. Spread the love. Alright, so everything's in here. Now we're gonna fill it up with the liquid. This is the scary part. <laughs> As I don't want the liquid to kind of um, spill over. So I'm going to get a little bit more water in here.
16 pound turkey is gonna be a 30 pound turkey. Alright. So now I'm gonna have to figure out how to seal this puppy up. I mean, you know, realistically speaking, I could just Tie a knot on top. Like so, and call a day. And I don't even need to bring out my uh, vacuum seal. I think I'm gonna do that. I think that's easier and for you guys, because not a lot of people have a vacuum seal machine. So, you know what? There you go, and that's it. The turkey is actually submerged fully, and we're just gonna put it in the fridge and let it do its thing for a few days. So stay tuned. Okay guys, so we're gonna basically uh, make an injection for these turkeys. I'm gonna use butter and some saffron water and some garlic. And that's gonna be used for the brined turkey. And for the non, for the one that wasn't brined, I'm gonna use this. This is a store-bought um, injectable butter that comes with a syringe. But uh, I'm using, um, uh, vegan butter for this one because a colleague of mine he's allergic to dairy and you know I don't want to kill him so what I put in this one was the vegan butter and I used liquid saffron um, these you could find online or you might be able to find it in stores and then I use garlic powder so you could do this to taste never done it before uh, go easy on the saffron uh, liquid saffron and the garlic you know just to do a taste you know for basically next time around you could uh, figure out how much more garlic you could put on there so uh, let's go inject the turkeys then we're gonna basically put a dry rub on both of them it's gonna be the same dry rub on both and we're gonna stick them to the smoker so let's go turkeys have been let's adjust the camera all right both turkeys have been injected and I am going to use my own rub that I use for my barbecue um, this is my uh, uh, secret rub that I have um, it's, it's secret not secret whatever I don't know who cares it's a rub right uh, as long as it tastes good that's all that matters so uh, you don't need any um, binder you're just gonna put this on there you know, hope for the best, make a mess as much as you can, you know, just like so.
All right, guys, six and a half hours later, and these are the turkeys. Um, so this is the one that was brined. This is the one that's, that was not brined. Um, this one was injected with the vegan butter. This was injected with the injectable butter that I bought from the store. So you see a slight color difference in, in these two. One of them's a little bit shiny. This one's not as shiny as this one. And it could be because of the butter, because I did baste this one with still the vegan butter, and then I baste this one with the um, the injectable butter. But we want to also do a crispy test, right? So let's let's hear it. So some areas you hear it. Definitely the wings. Let's do it on this one. That's crispy right there. Some parts are not as crispy, but you get the gist, right? So now we're gonna let these cool down, then we're gonna slice them and see what's inside and see what the inside looks like. So stay tuned. bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time it's clear to see from up here the world seems small we can sit together it's so beautiful, you and me, we're meant to be, in the great outdoors, forever free. So she just tried the one that was uh, not brine. Now she's eating the one with the brine. Which one tastes better? Or do they both taste the same? No, they're different, but they're both good. Which one tastes the best? With brine or without brine? All right. Hold this so I can get you another piece. Alright, this is without brine, just the uh, injection. And this one is brined with the vegan butter injection. So it could be the vegan butter that might make it taste kind of weird. That one's better. The brine is better. It's softer. Yeah. And juicier. From the chick who doesn't eat turkey. Yeah, she doesn't even eat meat. So there you have it, folks. We have a taste test for somebody that doesn't really eat meat, uh, meat or in general or, or turkey. So the one that's brined, uh, injected with vegan butter, definitely tastes juicier than the one that's not brine so they both had injection but the one that's brine came out a lot juicier but this one if you can see this one still has some juice coming out of it so it's not that it's not going to be it's not dry that's the whole point the both are moist after six and a half hours of smoking so you know had this been in an oven if you don't baste it constantly these turkeys would have came out freaking dry as hell 
So smoking is also a way to go if you want to do the turkey this year. Um, six and a half hours for almost, uh, for 18 and a half pounds bird. Uh, obviously, if the birds are smaller, they're gonna be they're gonna take less time. But what you aiming for is 165 degrees internal temperature into the breast, and that gives you a fully cooked turkey, very moist. Um, and you could use whatever injection you want. You know, a lot of people just use brine injection. I like to use uh, butter with uh, uh, liquid saffron. Gives it a lot of taste, a lot of flavor, and garlic, of course. So do, you know, you could, you could choose whatever you want. But happy Thanksgiving. I hope this was helpful. And hopefully you guys, this turkey comes out as good as these ones. Peace out.